In this module, let us look at the technique that is used for the digitization of audio. The basic principle of digitizing audio is as follows. There are three major steps that are involved. First, we will take a sample at regular time intervals of the audio signals. That's the first step. The second step is to assign a digital value to the samples that were taken. In other words, at regular intervals we would be taking samples and we will be assigning digital values to the samples. And the third step is to convert the digital value into a binary number for each of the samples that were taken. Now here is an example. Let's look at the uh, audio signal that goes in this way. Of course, this is the signal strength on this axis. And on this side, we have the time. We will take samples at regular intervals. And the intervals are determined by something called the sampling frequency. We will talk about it later. For each of these samples, we will assign a value depending on the height of the sample. In this case, this is 9. Let's call this uh, 6. This would be 7. And this would be 5. And this would be 4. So we have done the second step. First step, we took the samples at regular intervals. We have assigned digital values. The next step is to convert these digital values into digital binary values so that we can transmit this information. The information that needs to be transmitted in this case is 9, 6, 7, 5, 4. If we convert this into digital form, the conversion takes place as follows. For example, the digital conversion of 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. The digital conversion of 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. And the digital conversion of 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. And of course, the digital conversion of 5 is uh, 1, 0, 1, 0. And of course, the digital conversion of 4 is 0, 0, 1, 0. So instead of transmitting the le numbers 9, 6, 7, 5, 4, we would basically be transmitting this set of binary numbers. When these binary numbers that are shown here are received on the other side, then these numbers will be converted back to their original digital values, which are in this case 9, 6, 7, 5, and 4. After we convert this, then we could connect these values to get the audio back. So this is how the audio signal is digitized.